Hi traders and Happy New Year. Since the markets are closed today, I figured that this would be a good day to practice my continuation setups as we go into this brand new trading year. In this short video, I will show you how to quickly download data and set up your market replay feature in NinjaTrader. So when I first opened my Ninja Trader, I have this control center window. From the control center window, there's this menu at the top with new tools, workspaces, connections, and help. So I click on the tools menu item. There's a drop down menu and I select historical data. A new window pops up. I'll bring it over here so you can see it. Now when mine, my window comes on, it's on edit. I put it on load. Immediately I go here to get market replay data. Click on that. From here I select my instrument. I will select the ES the latest ES contract, which, which is the March 2023 contract. And for this practice session, I want to retrade the week leading up to Christmas. So I just use the calendar here under date. And I'll start with, this will be this week here, the 19th through the 23rd. So I'll start with the 19th, select that, and just select download and watch here it's loading so I have to wait until that's finished okay so now you see that it's no longer downloading so I'll go to my next date which will be Tuesday the 20th Press download again. Just like that, I'll just go down the week. Okay, so now I'm on the 22nd, that Thursday. Oops, that's not what I meant to do, but that's okay. I press the 22nd again. Okay, so now for Friday the 23rd, that was the last day of the week before Christmas. Okay, so one thing I do need to do because the actual trading day starts the day before, I actually do need to go back and select the Sunday the 18th as well that way we'll have all the trading data in order to trade Monday so we do need to go go back and start on the 18th so I'll go ahead and download that okay so that's that is completed so I can go ahead and click out of this window the historical data window and if I want to start with practicing, what I'll do now is go up back up to this menu on the control center window, press connections. And so what I'll have to do is right now I have my um, Apex connection on so that I could download the data. Disconnect that and press connections again and click on playback connection okay so now you can see my control center window has changed so what I'll do is See if I can grab a chart. Okay. OK, 
Okay, so let's put a chart up here, see if this works. You see for account, it actually says playback. Playback 101 is what it says. Your other ATM strategies should be the same. And here's your little controller here. And you can move these little windows around however you want. Now, I don't see any data yet. Let's see if we go in this little window to an actual date that I did download. Let's try the 20th just to see if it's here. Oh, there we go. We do have some data here and you can use this little dial here to get the day you want. So this is says the 21st and just let's just say if I wanted to start at 8:14 a.m. you see the chart moves to that date and time. And then um, all I would have to do now is to press start here, this green button, and it'll start to play. So and it doesn't look like it's moving. Let me just check something here. My indicator, sometimes I have to do this to get my data to play. I'm going to remove my bar timer and put it back and see if that helps it. Just a little troubleshooting there. Right. I'll remove my other bar timer. Okay, and um, I don't have any data. Well, that sucks. Oh, I'm on the wrong chart. Oh, crap. Sorry, y'all. I was on the wrong chart. I should have been on my ES chart. I did not down, download data for the RTY. <laughs> so anyhow, I do apologize. So everything was fine. I was just on the wrong chart. So yes, 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 I, I do make mistakes. But anyway, there you have it. <laughs> There's the, um, the chart was actually perfect. I just um, had it on the wrong chart. You, you do have to make sure you actually have your chart on the correct chart that you downloaded the data for or else that data for the RTY was obviously not going to be there because I didn't download data for the RTY. I only did it for the ES. So there it is. Now just note here you can change the speed that you want to practice. You can change it Oh my goodness, you can go up to 500 or more speed. Now when I'm practicing, for the most part, I do leave it in one time it's because I do think it's important to train myself to be patient to wait for these trades to work. And I don't want to give myself a false sense of how quickly these trades work. And then when I'm in the real, the real market, then I'm impatient and, af and I'm afraid that the trade isn't going to work. So that's just what I do. But this is helpful for advancing the day or, or getting, getting your, um, 
your chart to the exact time where you want to start it is really helpful for that as well. And, you know, I have seen people actually practice with the time sped up. However, with me already trading on a one minute chart, honestly, I just don't see how I could set the trade up any faster than, than what I can do. However, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. I hope that um, this was a refresher for some of you who already knew how to do this. And I hope that it helps some of you new traders to know that this feature is available so that you can practice your setups, get really good at them. And I will probably start doing some practice sessions. I don't know if I'll do those live or just do live rep replays of some setups so that I can post and, and maybe show some of the continuation trades or other trade setups that you all may be interested in seeing. Thanks for watching. Peace out.